Hi guys, today we're making veggie quinoa patties. Here are some of the vegetables I decided to use. Broccoli, carrots, cabbage, scallions or onions, a little bit of coriander, and as well as already cooked quinoa. This is the quinoa I'm using. I started by cutting the cabbage very thin and then I cut it into more smaller pieces. Then I went ahead and I grated two carrots and I cut the rest of the vegetables. This is a quick healthy recipe. You could use whatever vegetables you might have handy in the house or they're about to get bad. Now I decided to use coconut oil to cook the vegetables. These veggies are gonna cook rather fast. I'm just gonna toss them for about 8 to 10 minutes and then I'm gonna remove them. I'm gonna go ahead and season them with paprika, ginger, garlic, black pepper, and salt. Mix it let everything marry each other once the veggies are soft to your liking remove it and place them in the same bowl we're trying to keep it less cleaning and being smart about our cooking let it cool off for about five minutes and then add the cooked quinoa to it Once you add your cooked quinoa, give it a good mix. The quinoa is rather easy to cook, just boil it with some salt and water, and there you have it. Now when everything is well incorporated, we're gonna go ahead and add one egg. And this egg will help us bind all our veggies together. Also give it a good mix as well. So for our patties not to fall apart, I'm going to go ahead and add breadcrumbs, mix it, I'm also feeling it. I honestly don't measure so I'm going by the feel of the mix and I decided to add more breadcrumbs. You can use an ice cream scooper but I personally like using the measuring cups to be able to measure out my patties. I'm using one fourth of a cup to be able to get all these perfectly round circles and about the right measurements so the cook time could be the same for all of them. With this mixture I was able to get 10 patties. Also feel free to make your vegetables more thinner or more uh, finer than mine. I like mine to be more on the coarse side. Again, in the same pot that we cooked the vegetables, I added more oil, coconut oil that is, and I placed my patties. You can place the veggie patties in the fridge for about 20 minutes in order for them not to fall apart for you when you are cooking them or you could cook them right away. Over here, I'm going to go ahead and flip them after about five minutes in each side and I think they were done so cook time should be about 10 to 15 minutes max and I had it on medium high heat I didn't have it on a high heat not to burn once I flip them drizzle a little bit more oil on top of it so the bottom could have some oil to be able to get toasted and cooked after five minutes, go ahead and remove them and they should be nice and ready to be served. Now, over here I added avocado oil to test out another way to cook them and I personally think the avocado oil did a better job. Go ahead and add some scallions on top before you serve them. 
serve them as is or you could say serve them with a sauce i served them with a tzatziki sauce i hope you enjoyed this video thank you